thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm here to um, tell another dream I had. I'm just a normal 18-year-old that happens to get dreams from God. Um, there's, like, plenty of dreams on this channel if you'd like to watch them. Um, I have some very, like, interesting dreams on here, too. Um, but, yeah, I had a new dream, and I had this dream last night. And this is actually the – I've already made this video, but I, I took it down. I uploaded it on YouTube, but then I took it down just, like, a – few minutes later or so because the video was super shaky because I was holding uh, my tablet with my hands and every time I would like talk or anything I would move my hand causing the tablet to shake and shake and shake and it was just like watching it like you're gonna get sick watching it so I decided to delete that and remake it um, and this time I have it leaning against something so it shouldn't be shaky um, so yeah let's go into the dream so um, this dream uh, was pretty cool I feel like it might have a hitting, hitting meaning. Um, if you get anything from this dream, you're more than welcome to comment it below. Um, but yeah, let's get into the dream. So in this dream, I'm at the mall. My mom had like dropped me off, and I was supposed to stay at the mall for maybe like an hour or two. Um, that was the dream. And um, so I'm at the mall, and I am just like standing in this mall. I've been to this mall before. It's like an actual place that exists. I've been there before. I've been there a few times. Okay, I've been there a lot. It's like since I was little. And in this mall, um, there's this, like, pizza place. And I'm just, like, chilling at this pizza place. And then these two dudes just, like, run up to me. And um, all of a sudden, this bag just, like, appears in my hand. And it's a bag of hot sauce. And these two guys are talking to me. And they're like, hey, um, I bet that we, we can eat all that hot sauce in a certain amount of time. Like, they didn't say how long. They just said a certain amount of time. And... He's like, okay, that's what he tells me. He's like, okay, if we cannot eat all this hot sauce in this certain amount of time, then we owe you 30 bucks. But if we do eat it in a certain amount of time, you have to give us 30 bucks. So I'm like thinking, and I agree to their little bet here. And in my dream, I didn't even check how much hot sauce was in the bag. Like if this was real life, I wouldn't check to see how much hot sauce was in the bag probably um, before I agreed to this bet. So, um... We agreed, eventually in the dream, we agreed on 10 minutes for them to eat all the hot sauce in the bag. And I know eating hot sauce by itself is, like, gross. I, it's just, like, one of, like, the most disgusting things. Like, putting it on stuff is really good, but eating it by itself is just gross, in my opinion. Um, but, yeah. So, um, the contest starts. They're going to try to eat all this hot sauce that is in this bag in 10 minutes. It was just these two guys. And um, I'm just, like, watching, and I'm like, I wonder if they'll be able to do it or not. And they, you know, it's kind of questioning. And so the it's down to, like, the last few seconds. And they're trying to eat all the hot sauce. Like, they're trying to hurry. Like, this hot sauce is getting on their face and stuff. Like, it was kind of funny. And um, the, the competition is over, and I can hear them cheering, and I think that I lost the competition. And then all of a sudden, I hear, like, them go, like, ah, Like, kind of like that, like, disappointed. And they realized that there was one packet of hot sauce in the bag that they forgot to eat. And I ended up winning. And they come to me, and they hand me some money. And I'm, like, kind of holding money. I was like, this looks like a lot more than $30, like we agreed upon giving the winner. And I'm, like, kind of confused, but I don't really think much of it at the moment. And they start walking off. So after they walk off, I start counting the money. And I realize this is a lot more than $30. I'm like, this is almost $400 is how much it was. It was almost $400. And I'm like, did they accidentally give me the wrong amount? Did they purposely do this? Like, I'm confused. So I see the guys in the distance, and I'm starting, like, chasing after them, like, trying to stop them. I'm like, hey, you gave me the wrong amount. Because, like, I'm, I don't want to steal or anything, and I'm afraid they might have needed this money, you know? I'm like, they might need this money for rent or et cetera. So I, like, chase them down, and eventually I catch up with them, and they explain to me that they are YouTubers and that they often do challenges like this. And they explained that they purposely gave me over $30. They said that they wanted to just help me and, like, you know, just – they wanted to bless me, basically. Like, they're, like, have a blessed day. They're, like, we purposely gave you more than $30. And I just tell them, I'm, like, so I can keep the money. And they're, like, yes, you can keep it. And I was, like, very thankful. I'm, like, thank you. This is amazing. I'm, like, thanks. And they explained that they also probably – when they do these challenges, they usually put, like, a hidden camera. And they're like, I probably just didn't even notice the camera. And, yeah, it was pretty cool and everything. So then after this happens, I go back to the pizza place I originally was. And I'm just, like, counting the money. And, like I said, it was, like, almost $400. And 
And I'm looking like around and I'm like, what am I going to do with this money? I'm like, I don't really need anything. And I'm like, my mom's been complaining about some bills. Maybe I can help her with some bills. And um, I just like look around and I see this woman at the mall. Like throughout the people and everything, I see this woman. And she clearly looks like she's a mom. Um, if you heard something go off, my mom's phone went off. But yeah, she clearly looks like she's a mom. Like she looks like typical mom. Like maybe an only parent. She looked like an only parent. I believe she might even had a stroller in the dream. She was wearing like some yoga pants and maybe like a yoga tank top or something. Um, and she clearly looked like she had mom's vibes. But she looked like almost stressed out. Like maybe frazzled would be a good word. Like she looked like maybe she was just crying a few minutes ago. Like her hair is kind of messy. Um, like she looks frazzled in my opinion. And I'm just sitting there looking at this woman. And she said, and then I just hear God say, I heard God say this to me. He said, help that woman. And I like kind of asked God, I'm like, how can I help that woman? And he's like, give that woman $100. And I'm like, should I give her $100? And I start questioning. I'm like, is this really from God? Um, or is this just like the devil telling me this? Like, I want to make sure it was God. And I was questioning if I should give her the money or not. Because she was a little bit distance away. And I'm like, I need to hurry and decide or else I'm going to lose this person. And I knew that instant. I just had like this holy spirit moment and i was like this is definitely from god like there's no way this is from the devil and so i decide i'm gonna give the woman 100 i decide that i'm gonna give it to her and so um my brother runs up to me and he's like what the heck are you doing and he's like really mad at me and he's like mom's been trying to call you for like the past hours and you have not been responding and i was like i tell him and i'm like kind of like i knew my phone was in my pocket and i'm trying to tell him i'm like my phone never rang like, I tried telling him, and I'm, like, just hoping he believes me because he's so mad. And I'm, like, my phone never rang. And uh, my brother's there, and I'm, like, hold on. I really need to do something. So then I go to that woman, and I give her the $100. And she's, like, ecstatic, like, really happy. She's, like, you probably just, like, made my day. You're, like, you just saved me so much pain. Like, she's so excited. And I, once I helped the woman, I felt so amazing like helping her was like the best thing i've ever done in my life like it was like i can't explain it like helping her felt so good like it felt amazing so then i went back to my brother and i was still like, feeling like happy from helping that woman like it felt amazing then me and my brother walked into this i don't know my brother did i think my brother was standing outside the store but i went to the store and i knew the store had recently been robbed and i'm like okay like, I, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, should I really be in a store that was recently robbed? You know, like, that's not a good idea. The robber could still be here. And I'm looking at this stuff, and due to them being robbed, some of the stuff was a bit pricier because they had to make up for the money they lost. And I'm kind of looking around, and I'm like, honestly, I don't really want any of this. So I end up leaving the store, and I go with my brother, and we end up leaving the mall. And that was the whole dream. I really feel like this dream was God telling me, it's okay, you can help people. Because in the past, I've been kind of like... Whenever I thought God wanted me to help someone, I've been kind of scared. Like, is this really from you, God? And usually I back out and don't do it. But I think this is God telling me. He's like, it's a time to help people, whether you think it's from God or not. He's like, it's the time to help people. I really think that's what God's telling me. It's the time for us to get up and help people, you know? And I feel like that's awesome. And I'm like, this is God. And he's like telling me that we should start helping people the most we can. I really feel like this is God telling me. He's like, help people any way you can. And that was a really amazing dream. And um, if you get anything from this dream, you're more than welcome to comment below. And if you made it this far in the video, can you comment a crown emoji? Um, and I guess bye for now. If you have any other God dreams, of course, I plan to upload them. And yeah, bye for now.